Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm gonna sing for you. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, um, I promise a friend I will make this video and I'll be procrastinating about making it because I didn't want to sing this glorious song. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just start then. Uh, fuck, fuck. fuck. Our tape was my monetization. Well, I didn't have to press that. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay, then. We balance round the boy. Wollen, wobbel, wabudi patch. You look at a tasty snack. Oh, okay, the pumpkin. Fight the feather fight. Fight your toad and then you know the world war tonight. Then vital squishy one never understand. Thank you to best to okay for the video just mad. Spooky looky pumpkin, the well all you might. If I was in neighborhood, it would be nice. Ah, there's a break, finally. Oh wait, it's not over. You got to be kidding me. This is my foot. We take out this. But as for you, I never understand. You feel super spooky. The baby you're just mad So oh okay pumpkin You have a round the boy You have a land bubble round the patch You have a tasty snack So okay pumpkin Tumble all in mind You have a vicey neighborhood And I will love it in the night Finally, it's over. And so, I will also say goodbye to you, to the friend who said I should, who made me do this video. Thank you for sh making me do this. Thanks. Not really. <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> My good story. Sunday was a warm and sunny. Just have always fantasized it would be when I finally went through with it. I started walking through the dumpster again. I think about 2 p.m. and I was really excited and nervous. I felt butterflies in my tummy, just anticipating what I was about to do. Dumpster in. It's in the alley behind a restaurant near mine. It gets emptied on Tuesdays, so by Sunday it's pretty stinking. There are flies buzzing around, which means that things are rotting inside. They were just perfect for me. <laughs> Few times in the past, I climbed into that dumpster and masturbated. <laughs> Nothing too intense, though. Most I ever done was take off my pants and hump against the dirty garbage bags. <laughs> And one time, I lay there with my legs spread, watching the flies land on me. So anyway, I walked down to the alley to the dumpster, and as usual, I made sure nobody was around. Just a big extra cake while you had to go and a tool with not fence to even see the dumpster. And the restaurant is closed on Sunday anyway, so I knew I would be noticed. But this time, there's no way I want to be disturbed. I climbed up and over the side and onto my hands and knees into the mass of plastic garbage bags and other miscellaneous rubbish. The bags felt warm from the sun, the smell in there was extremely foul, much worse than usual, and I knew if at the cost of my rotten meat I sat and tried to get myself to rest for a few minutes. There was no reason to hurry. When I was ready, I calmly took off my sandals, my jeans, and my panties. Both pairs. I was wearing two pairs of tight panties with a bunch of my pantaloons in the crotch, which keeps anything in my vagina from coming out when I move around. 
like um, better was going all the way this time the full shabang so I went ahead and got completely naked the baby suit that was a weird feeling being totally nude inside the dumpster well, actually not really when um, I've seen enough bodies and dumpsters, so it's not really that much of my courage. But anyway, it seemed very erotic to me. The sun felt warm on my skin, especially my boobs that I totally have. Yeah. I'm, not like, I'm not like cutting wood at all. <laughs> which, part of, which pretty much never see the sun. I took a pair of rubber kitchen gloves. Never mm. mind, I don't use them as a condom. I tried one time. You know what happened there. <laughs> Out of my pants and put them on. There was no way I could bring myself to actually touch a maggot with my bare, feeble, not manly hands of God. Lying with my back against the side of the dumpster. I fingered my pussy. I was really wet already. I knew I would. I knew I would be. <laughs> the sensation of the rubber gloves against my clit felt unusual, but I don't have a clit, so it's pretty unusual, that feeling actually. And I kind of like it, yeah, I would really like masturbating as a woman. I, I did that for a little while, just thinking about what I was about to do, while staring at a small garbage bag in the far corner of the dumpster where I left it yesterday. I still felt the butterflies in my tummy, and soon you will feel my guts in your pussy. <laughs> I kept thinking to myself that I can't be out, that I had to go through with this. I wished for a moment that someone else was there to force me to do it. But I decided that, that this was somehow more sick and the way to do it myself willingly. And I thought, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. That's what I want. I deserve this. <laughs> and so I knew it was time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I got back on my hands and knees and crawled to the other side of the dumpster. I sat down next to the garbage bag, gently picked it up and placed it in front of me. The terrible smell was already this room in. Oh, it itched just you. Maybe you should maybe shove more. Because I think you don't do that much from the other things that I heard in the story. Oh, let's continue. Carefully, I tore the bag open. And there they were. There had to be thousands of maggots. Mmm, tasty. Kind of beige yellow with little black spots on them. Yeah, you should wash maggots before you eat them. It's a really good life tip. Well, right. I don't know how to say that. Uh, I was writing a large mass. I couldn't even see the rotting yeast underneath them. Dust and more maggots clung to the inside of the black. Plastic, which I coated with a, which was coated with a thick light brown slime. Yeah, the Dutch's syrup. You should take a taste. We should really do. It was such a repulsive sight. That's not the only thing that I found repulsive here. Yeah. I thought I was going to chop right there. Well, I think I will right now, but I didn't. I took a few minutes to get control of myself. Finger in my kit while staring at the maggots. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Trying to work with the courage to continue. Uh, I scooped up some of the slime on my gloved, gloved finger and brought it to my nose. I knew what it was from the reading I'd done before. It was digestive juices from the maggots, full of bacteria, and it smelled just horrible. Well, if you did research, you probably should do research why you shouldn't put maggots up your fucking pussy, alright? You're clearly not doing this research. This story is terrible, not, not enough research, Jesus. And it smelled just horrible, I thought to myself. That's what I'm going to smell like. That's the stench that's, co that's going to come from my vagina. I want it. I don't want that. I thought, spreading my legs wide apart, I dragged my slimy finger between my pussy lips. 
my clit felt like a hard little pepper beneath the slime. I didn't want to come right then. Though I still was right on the edge of gagging too, but I knew there was no turning back now. So I let my fingers lightly touch the top of the maggot mats. mass. The maggots felt lo nothing like that I experienced before. Them seemed to have such energy, totally different from pick up an urgent or something. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Earthworms too. <laughs> Not even a care for the earthworms. They're those poor earthworms. <laughs> And I feel so alive. I feel so dead right now. Please end this. <laughs> I was fascinated and nauseated at the same time. <laughs> Different sinking my fingers into the mass. I felt a solid meat beneath, gently breaking apart. I could see the meat had turned grey, except for the very center, which was still pink. And that the maggots had penetrated <laughs> into it, but not too deeply yet. The only thing I want to penetrate right now is my stomach with a knife. There was still plenty of food for my filthy little babes. Oh, good boy, good boy. I broke up a small chunk of meat that was covered on one side of me, my guts. And held it for a moment while I fought back under the urge to vomit. Well, I'm also fighting back the urge to vomit, no? It was finally time. I thought I, I leaned forward and holding my pussy lips up for it was that. I greeted my team and pushed her back and covered her keep it. Meat in my vagina. <laughs> and totally without expecting it, I had an orgasm. I did too. I, I did too. No, no. A quick sharp one that only made me want more. No, I don't want more. I just need to wash. I just need to wash the cam of my pants now. <laughs> and more was coming. I broke off another small chunk of meat along with another part of the maggot mostly that, and pushed it inside me. This one had more maggots on it, and I stuffed them under to see if I could feel them inside me. I wasn't sure if I could, but it didn't matter. I wanted them all. I'm greedy now. I need to take them all inside me with, with that thought. I went sort of wild. I started pushing bigger chunks of meat and maggots, even handfuls of maggots, into me over and over. I practically hyperventilating too. I wasn't thinking uh, at all about the noise I, may, I must have been making. But now I could definitely feel the maggots grooming inside my vagina. Just a day of it made me come again. Well, uh, speaking of coming, I think I did again too. I don't get it. Why? Why is this? Why is this story slightly right? I was thinking for some reason. <sighs> Finally, once I had crammed all of the rotten meat and all the maggots inside, I caught inside me. I felt so filthy, so disgusting. Bad girl. Fuck. <laughs> Like I turned myself into some love, de love, depraved sort of beast, and that made me so incredibly hot. I'm also incredibly hot, together with the constant movement of the maggot inside me. They're really having a party inside her right now, huh? And it was time to go. Yeah, it. I think it's my time to go from this earth now. Holding my hand over my crotch, I slowly crawled back to my clothes and managed to get dressed again. With that, with of anything coming out, I put the clothes back into my pocket and climbed out of the dumpster. And right then, I could hold back the, rev the revulsion of what I'd, what I'd just done no longer. Holding myself up against the side of the dumpster, I drew up. I've had vomit if I leave a horny it's a video that that's what I'm doing right now. <gasps> oh fuck. Walking home down the alley I felt like I was in a daze. I kept asking myself for how I could have done this to myself. 
but then asking why I'd waited so long. I had to walk slow to make sure nothing got squeezed out of my vagina, but also to keep my self from coming again. I found myself amazed at the whole thing, that a certain mo the most intimate part of myself with this thing there were two that the guests didn't even touch with gl gloves and that I'm totally getting off on it. So that's how a girl feels when they fuck me. Interesting, interesting. Once I was home, I locked myself in the bedroom, took off my clothes, except for my double panties, of course, and I got in the bed. I closed my eyes and just let myself feel the maggots screaming inside me. Why? For a while I tried to watch TV, but I could really pay attention, I couldn't I really pay attention to it. The maggots were too wonderfully distracting. I skipped dinner later on when I really had the pee. I did it by taking down the pants and holding my hand over my coat. Remain rubber go close, of course, of course. <laughs> the next morning I called off to f of work after being awake most of the night. I merely stayed naked in my bed all day masturbating. Huh. I can't relate to that actually. Barely getting up for anything. I relate to that too, actually. I want to do nothing but let my nauseating little babies grow inside my pussy. Yeah, you gotta keep care of your children. <laughs> Pretty early though, I realized the smell was getting really horrible. Oh, you just realized. I opened the video. I opened the window. I also wet a bath towel and stuffed it into my bedroom door. I didn't want my parents to get suspicious. Mm. A, a little later on, I realized that I didn't need the panties to hold the maggots and the meat inside me. The mass pretty much stays in place as long as I la laid kind of still. So, hey, I guess that means I'm infested. Which made me come again. <laughs> I was always right on the edge of Oski oh, of course, and it didn't take much to go over the edge. I also noticed that the maggots seemed to be more active if I kept my legs apart and realized they probably needed to breathe. So that's why I said a lot of time. I did get up and read my email and post an update on my web page, but they couldn't seem to think clear not to write much. Then I had to pee again. But I just didn't want to get up, so I just peed in bed. It made me come. <laughs> I just wanted to give the feeling of the maggots moving and everything. It seemed even stronger. In anything, I was totally in heaven with it. I didn't eat at all either. It sounds pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. Why is, why is this so funny? <laughs> I heard my parents come home from work. During the evening, my mom said hello to the door and wondered why I was staying in my room like a hermit. I said I was reading a novel all day. True, true at once. Which I actually do sometimes. She left me alone. I hope she didn't smell anything. I surfed the web for a while at that night and looked at porn. That's very relatable. Yeah, give me five, give me five. I came a few more times. I also did. I decided to go ahead and take a shit in my bed. Well, I don't do that. Nah, that's definitely relatable. Right there I was, that just made me more turned on. And, 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 and ended up smearing some shit. Or my ties and my pussy and coming again. I noticed that the maggots started coming out a bit. Maybe they like the shit. A couple t times one would keep up on my belly. I just flick it down with thinner legs. Alright, so I, I think this video was pretty okay, but when it came to that shit part, no, I don't I don't want any poop in this story, jeez. That kind of ruined the story for me. Alright, let's go to the next thing. I was getting tired at that point. I really, it really was time to sleep and my vagina was throbbing and kind of sore from all the attention. But I was getting worried about making sure my maggot could breathe while I was sleeping. It. Somehow I managed to find an energy to place a chair on either side of my bed and use 
the sheets at time angles them that will keep the legs apart during the time. Mm. I pull the blankets on myself and dust off lying in my piece and shit. Yeah, the, the, this story is, is getting less hotter and hotter as it goes on. For the most part, I slept through the night, but I kept waking up sweating with my vagina throbbing through us. I knew I was getting a bad infection from this, but I didn't care. I did short, but I right. I think you're being too horny right now. It's a choppy one for now, right? I was not thinking right. Yeah, I see. It. That's that's what horny does to you. You don't think straight at all. I I I, I look at gay porn, so I don't think straight at all. I, I could also feel a mess going all over me. I guess I decided that I, I liked it, that and I'd play with my kid, clit and I, until I came again. I don't know if I realized at the time that I wasn't wearing the rubber gloves anymore. Alright, no protection, no protection, no no gloves, alright. This, this is just getting more depraved and depraved. I'd fall back to sleep and wake up again later with Get the faces from next to my other girls have babies, but I give birth to decay and filth. I keep thinking to myself, or I'd say, I'm probably ruining my room, and I don't care. I want to be ruined. <laughs> I know I must have been hallucinating from the fraction. I was stopping a magazine, giving up on the rotten meat, and we were eating my vagina and said, Oh, oh, alright. My fingers were buried inside my vagina with my fingerings against the weed. And I press and then makes the scream fast and I'll climb X again. I could do it over and over and keep coming. Alright. Finally, it was Tuesday morning and the sun like made me wake up. I knew I was, I was really, really sick at the point. I felt weak and dizzy. I knew I had a fever and now my whole lower body was swollen from me. Despite all that, I was still horny. Oh, come on. You can't even control the fucking minions. What the fuck? And I was still right on the edge of coming. And then, for some reason, all I want to do was see my maggots. My little babies. My little good boys. Finally, I put the blanket aside and saw that I really did have maggots growing all over my body. I was so whacked out and I loved it. But. I also saw that I had a rash bedding over my tummy and my thighs. And I was soaked with sweat and I then certainly I needed to see what it looked like between my legs. I sat up a little, picked up the hand mirror, I had my table next to my bed and held it between my thighs. My pussy was totally gaped wide open. Radical bro. Radical. Epic, epic. And I'd never seen like it before. It reminded me of a mouth in a sick, gaping expression. My inner lips were swollen and dark purple, almost black, while my outer lips were cherry red and was losing a layer of dead skin, like a sunburn. A, a stream of light brown slime was oozing from inside my vagina, and down my butt crack onto the shitty mattress. <laughs> Really, like, yeah, it's it's not shit in this one way. It's really shitty. <laughs> well, this whole situation is shit as fuck. <laughs> Although I could still feel a large mass of maggots and rotten meat inside me, there were maggots everywhere between my legs, hundreds of them. And then I saw my fingers, my pieces that plunged deep in the vagina, and dug that the red of. Sh Slime and maggots, which I press hard against my clit. I remember having a huge orgasm in them right then, and then I passed up. I think I was sobbing too, but I'm not sure. That's all I remember until I woke up in the hospital. Alright, I guess this is the end note for the video. I don't pick maggots in inside your pussy or, or, or inside your urethra. I mean, I. Uh, sounding, I'm fine with sounding and stuff, but please be safe with it. But the thing, okay, if you're gonna put magazines inside you, please at least wash or something, please. <laughs> please be safe about it, right? 
remember we have protection and safe all right uh, mm, hell, uh, I don't know how to feel about this story. I I really I was real I was very vividly aroused by it for some reason. I don't know why. And I guess it's pretty good. It's pretty nicely written, even though there's some writing mistakes in them. I will say, give it a mm. seven of the ten. It's a pretty good story. Yeah. Um, uh, right. I did this uh, for the friend who I s who I said I would uh, make this video for. Mm. Thank me, thank me for making this. Huh? I, I, uh. Alright. This was Halloween video. Hope you are spooked by this story. <laughs>